In this video, I will be walking 10,000 blocks on a brand new Minecraft world in Hardcore. Will I die? What will happen? Let's find out in today's video. We'll start off with day one. I made a brand new world on a random seed. It all started pretty fine. I had a pretty good spawn near lake and there are some mountains in the background and some other stuff also there was a forest near so that was pretty good for me also i dug the nearest tree i made some basic tools a crafting bench and killed some animals like chickens pigs or chickens or pigs <laughs> more chickens I think I was pretty lucky on this seed because after a little while of killing animals I went to a new house which I found I made my bed there and crafted some stone tools which I used for the entire journey. To wake up this villager to get asleep for the first day and that was day one. Now for day two. I made the rest of the stone tools, a stone pickaxe and a sword. I also made a furnace to smell some of my food so I can so it can last longer because my bread wouldn't last the entire journey of 10,000 blocks. I also made a boat which will be my only boat for the rest of the series. I had a lot of food so I had to get some more fuel for it and some more furnaces. I crafted those and leather cab that would be the first piece of my armor. Then I went to a little adventure near the village. I just wanted to see what else was there and I found this pretty mountain with some beehives next to it and made my first screenshot of this video and I think my thumbnail. Then I fell into a hole, bruh, you know that feeling. I got my food from my furnaces and threw it all down because it was pretty much all done for me. I also made some leather boots which was the second piece of armor that I had. As you can see, my skin pretty good made it myself. I guess villagers like to run. <laughs> like a lot. And I took the bell. I do that in every village. Reply in the comments. How many villages will I raid in this entire video? So I made my bed and that was pretty much the entirety of day two. And now day three, the last day in this village and the start of this journey. I went to zero zero to which direction I would go. I chose south because I like the south, I like the sun there, so I think that we will find some kind of desert and some pyramids there. I made, I found a big ravine near spawn, like 500 blocks from spawn, I crossed it and 
continued on my journey. Uh, I also found this fake river and <laughs> used my boat for the first general boat trip. Also, I found the second village. I didn't want to raid it because it's, it was on a meadow and that was pretty much the entire of day three. I made my bed and some kind of first build, you can call it. It isn't really a build. It's just dirt around it so I don't fall in the morning. And that was pretty much the entire of day three. There was nothing more special that I found. Now on to day four. I swam in the ocean, found pretty much nothing there. And continued on my journey. I was, it was pretty far, so I thought that it would be good to use the boat a little bit more. I found my first big thing, shipwreck. I think that there should be some good loot in there, so in the first chest there was a buried treasure map and I didn't want to find the treasure because it, it was pretty far away and in the second chest there was a diamond like a diamond I thought this was the biggest accomplishment of the series for me like finding a diamond in the chest I think it happened for the first time in my life and that was pretty much the entire year of day four. I went to my bed and then woke up the next day. I also fell in a hole for the second time across this big valley and found another mountain biome and a dark forest one and got my another achievement light as a rabbit you step on powdered snow and I think this was a bug or something I fell into powdered snow even if I had leather boots and then I crossed the dark forest mountain biome or you can call it also the roof biome because I really like to call it that way. I crossed this uh, valley with uh, another bridge of with my birch planks. Got some more because I needed some blocks and this was the entirety of day day five. I made my bed, spammed the bed because I want, didn't want to see any mobs in the night and I went onto some meadows and crossed another sea and found the ocean monument. I didn't want to go there really because it really didn't suit my playstyle, so, so I found a village, collected some hay bales and this was pre for me the best day of this series. I found uh, Acacia village also a jungle and bought my last piece of armor a chest plate I had enough emeralds and I think this was a pretty good accomplishment 
I found a fox. Like a really good one and got some pretty good photos of it and screenshots. And that was the entirety of the last one. I found this pretty weird, can call it a mountain. <laughs> that was it I went to <coughs> another mountain pretty close and got to the 10,000 block mark if you got to the end of the video thanks I hope you enjoyed it and that you will watch some other videos in the future this was my first one and I think you if you accomplished watching this entire video, I'm really thankful. I spent a long time on this and I hope to see you next time and watch my other videos too. <laughs>